everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Have you ever run out of space on your main drive? Or maybe you've scored a shiny new, larger SSD, and you're dreading the thought of reinstalling Windows, all your programs, and your files. Well, I, I have great news for you. Today, we're going to clone your old, smaller drive directly to your new, larger one. Everything your operating system, your programs, your cat pictures, everything will be copied over perfectly. And the best part, we're doing it for free using an amazing, powerful tool called Clonezilla. To get started, head to clonezilla.org and download the stable version. Download the ISO file. I recommend the AMD64 version for most modern computers. Also, if you're on a desktop, just plug the new drive into a free SATA port. For laptops, you'll need a SATA to USB adapter or an external dock. Uh, this is crucial. You will also need a USB flash drive, at least 8 gigabytes. We'll use this to run Clonezilla. Next, you will need to create a bootable Clonezilla USB. You can use Rufus or Belena Etcher for this. Just download Open Rufus. Select your USB drive. Choose the Clonezilla ISO. Leave everything at the default and click Start. And once it's done, we're ready to boot from it. Power on the computer and immediately press the key to enter the boot menu. Uh, this is usually F12, F10, F9, F2. Delete or escape. It depends on your motherboard. Check your manufacturer's website if you're unsure. Select your USB drive from the list to boot from it. You'll see this menu. Just select the default option and press Enter. It will boot into a little Linux environment. Uh, don't worry, you don't need to know Linux. We'll do everything with the keyboard arrows and Enter key. Select Language, English. Select Keymap. Don't touch Keymap. Just press Enter and then Start. Clonezilla. Choose Start Clonezilla. When you get to the main interface, pick Device Device Mode. This lets you clone one drive directly to another, then select Beginner Mode. It's simpler and works perfectly for most users. Now choose Disk to Local Disk, meaning we'll copy the entire source disk to the new one. Next, choose your source drive, and that's the smaller or old SSD slash HDD you're copying from. Then select your target drive, the larger one you're cloning to. Make sure you select the correct drives. Everything on the target drive will be completely erased and skip checking or repairing. Select Create Partition Proportionally. This tells Clonezilla to copy the partitions and expand the last one to fill all the available space. This is exactly what we want. It will now show you a command summary. This is your last chance to back out. If everything looks right, especially that the source and target are correct, type Y and press Enter. This will take a while. The time depends entirely on how much data you have and the speed of your drives, you'll see a progress bar right here. 
you can just let it do its thing. Once it's done, you'll see this success message. The computer can now be shut down. Now, just physically disconnect your old drive and the Clonezilla USB. This is a good practice to ensure your computer boots from the correct new drive. Power on your computer. It should boot straight into Windows from your new drive. Everything will be exactly as you left it. And that's it. You've successfully cloned your drive with Clonezilla. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more Windows and PC upgrade tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.